the Dallas Mavericks did well to address a clear area of playmaking need by trading for Kyrie Irving ahead of last week's trade deadline. But there's still one glaring hole in Dallas's front court. As rumors surrounding the Mavericks potentially prying Anthony Davis away from the Lakers continue to swirl, ESPN's Brian Windhorst appeared on The Dan Patrick Show to clarify where things stand between Davis and Los Angeles. While I admit there might be something amiss there, I don't think Anthony Davis wants to not be a Laker. My understanding is he still is 100% bought in on that, Windhorst reported. But first, if you are new to the Lakers news channel, take advantage and subscribe so you don't miss the latest news that happens in the world of basketball, we are always bringing you firsthand here, enjoy and like this video so that YouTube continues to bring you the latest Lakers news in the world of basketball. Though Davis won a title with the Lakers in 2020, Los Angeles has largely failed to develop as a perennial power. Most recently, the club parted with Russell Westbrook after a failed season and a half stint. Dallas plans to make a run at Davis this summer. Earlier in the week, NBA insider Colin Cowherd reported on his podcast that Dallas might target Davis via trade this summer. I had a scout I trust say the body language by AD when LeBron James broke the scoring record wasn't a coincidence, I had a scout tell me last week that Dallas is going to make a run at him. Anthony Davis believes that he's lost the trust of LeBron, he said. Davis would go a long way toward bolstering Dallas's defense in the front court. Further, he would add another all-star level talent to pair with Irving and Doncic. And not just that, but when Davis is at his best, he's an MVP caliber player. Prior to a foot injury sustained in December, Davis was up to 27.4 points, 12.1 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks per game. But Davis also presents of serious injury risk. Though one of the more talented bigs in the league, he's missed significant time since the Lakers won a title. He's already missed 24 games this season. Mavericks going all in the summer. The reports that Dallas is interested in Davis are certainly consistent with recent reports about the Maverick summer outlook. According to Yahoo Sports' Jake Fisher, Dallas's next move could be using future draft picks to bring in even more star power to support the irving Doncic combination. Using a 2029 unprotected first-round pick to land Irving will allow Dallas to move both their 2025 and 2027 first-round picks this summer after the Mavericks' 2023 selection finally conveys to New York as part of the 2019 Kristaps Porzingis deal, Fisher wrote. Dallas's summer plans largely hinge on how well the Doncic irving pairing goes this season. If there's enough proof of concept, it could entice the team to go all in. If Irving and Doncic manage to form the partnership Doncic and Porzingis never could fully cement, then perhaps the Mavericks will even take those picks and go shopping for an additional co-star for Doncic and Irving. Why stop at two alphas when you can chase a third? That has been the going order of operations for teams in the superstar stacking business. With Draymond Green looming as a potential free agent get as well, Dallas should have plenty of options at its disposal to build a championship contender in the near future.